All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video here at T-Shirt Design School, we are going to talk about inter -like, interlocking type, intersecting type, type lockups, whatever you want to call it. It's the practice uh, using a lot of logos, using a lot of uh, brand identities of taking two letters, two types, and putting them together. It's also used in a lot of sporting uh, teams. This is a uh, Florida State, Texas A&M, New York Yankees, uh, DSG. Um, there's all over the place. You know, HSI. You know, I mean, it just goes on. Um, Gucci. This SE. There's a bunch of them. Volkswagen. In fact, I don't have it here, but Volkswagen is a is a a a, a top like up. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent. I mean, it just goes on and on. That's Florida State University. Again, this is a really cool S and a C. Um, w, the New York Mets. Um, so as you can see right here, Notre Dame. As you can see right here, uh, D, I think this is DG, DC, DG. Um, Chanel. Um, MC. So you get the picture, guys. Okay, you you get what's what's popping off right here. So just showing you San Francisco Giants. So just wanted to just give you here's a bunch of them in sports. So I just wanted to just give you a brief overview of exactly what I'm talking about. And so let's take it in the Illustrator and let's make something happen, Captain. All right, so we up in Illustrator here. My things, my stuff is all over the place, but it's not about this. It's about making something good happen. So I'm gonna go back over here, and there was a, there was a, there was a like a t okay, this TR. I like that. So I'm just gonna show you just how something like this can be done. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this over here, and we got this right here. This is my little muse right here. And it's not going to be exactly the same. It's not going to be this like split serif, but um, I like this little font. And first of all, I'm going to put TR. I'm going to do a version of this. We got TR. And it was this font with some serifs. It was Japanese. Bam. It's uh, CF gene mark regular all right so we're going to take this bad boy and uh, we're just going to go a little bit smaller and i'm going to turn this into something like that but first thing we're going to do is i don't since this is destructive i'm just going to pull a copy over there and take this one and i'm going to create outline create outlines you just go to uh command shift zero all right create outlines and uh and to get learn all of this stuff the specifics i have a fantastic course on illustrator go to t-shirtdesignschool.com or go down in the description box all right so now that we have that then we're going to separate those we're going to ungroup them and i'm just going to uh, select these and i'm just going to go right up here to our stroke and I'm just going to begin to press the button and make that stroke thicker, like hella thick, okay, until I get it to be, okay, is that cool? That's cool. Let's see here. Yeah, that's cool. But it's a stroke around it, so I can't really play with it. So I'm going to select them both, and I'm going to go to uh, Object Path outline stroke that outlines everything and then i'm going to go pull this over here this is our pathfinder so i'm going to grab that and i'm going to click on that oh boom makes it all this is some serious stuff right here man we're playing with fonts man so i went and i just thickened it up and i made it all this beautiful shape okay we're pretty much damn near almost done all right so i'm going to go over here i'm going to put this right here oh yeah but the one thing that i'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab just these anchor points. And I'm going to move this over. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. And I'm just going to move it about equidistant right there. 
How about that? Okay, and we're almost done. So let's put this right here. Nice, nice. So what I'm going to do, since this has um, serifs at the bottom and this doesn't, I'm going to add a uh, serif right here. So I'm just going to make a block right here at the bottom. How nice is that? And since this serif kind of curves up, I want to do the same thing. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to make an anchor point right in the middle, right there. I'm going to press the up button so that it goes up a little bit. And that should about do it. If I just put that right there. Nice. I might make it come up a little bit more. About three clicks. very nice oh no come up come on okay so that's our t and that's our r so i'm going to make this all one shape i'm going to click that pathfinder right here which is the unite unity all right so i mean we're almost done right there all right and see this is where the magic happens once you get this bad boy right here all right, I'm just going to make these two different colors for right now. I'm just going to make, uh, I'll make that one blue, okay? All right, guys, pardon the interruption. This is Gary Ejene, founder of t-shirtdesignschool.com, and I come bearing gifts. If you're enjoying the video, I want you to click the link below, and I want you to go to t-shirtdesignschool.com, and I want you to get your t-shirt design starter kit all right check it out hey guys welcome to t-shirtdesignschool.com all right so when you get to the first page i just need you to go down first of all check out this site and uh, check out all the great information but i want you to get right down here okay and i want you to simply go in here into your first name into your email and I want you to click this bad boy right here so you can get some awesome awesome stuff this is the t-shirt design starter kit let me show you a little bit about what's going on inside all right okay so once you get in you're gonna get this t-shirt template all right it's a vector based template so you can go in you can make these t-shirts any color you like add your artwork to them so you can get a better idea of what your stuff is gonna look like on an actual t-shirt there's going to be a whole bunch of these vector artworks that you can go through and you can add your own name, logos. You can use them as T-shirts, as logos, anything you want to just kind of get your feet wet in the world of making some designs. So you can go in. There's a whole bunch of them. There's like four of these. We also have a few distress patterns to help you give you that that weathered old distressed look to some of your graphics. I'm gonna be teaching how to use these later. Also have watercolor brushes so you can go through and add these in your t-shirt and do all type of great things to make things look like you're painting and watercolor. We have some textures down here also. And we have animals in text, all right? And with all this stuff, I'm gonna actually give you the fonts so you can go and download the fonts and upload them to your system and make it happen, happen. So make sure you get the T-Shirt Design Starter Pack only available at tshirtdesignschool.com. All right, guys, so click the link, get on the list, get your T-Shirt Starter Kit. You'll be put on the t-shirt design school mailing list and if anything comes up i will send some great information to you to help you along your t-shirt design journey and that's it back to the video and uh also this gets a little funky because it looks kind of even right here but right here is not even so this is where you got to kind of play with your optical illusions a little something so we're going to move this one over a little bit so it's a little bit more even. You see how it doesn't look even there? But it's fine. And also, this is coming down, so we're going to just grab these anchor points. And we're going to pull this down. Press, pressing the down arrow key to bring it down a little bit past those serifs right there. All right. And we're going to lock that in. And I'm actually going to take this on this side. And I'm going to move it out a little bit. 
Uh, hold on. Ugh. All right. Now, see, this is the crazy part is that I took that and I moved it out some, but it doesn't look too crazy off center. This happens in a lot of logos. All right. So I'm going to lock, I'm going to unlock everything, unlock all, and I'm going to lock that T down. And now I'm going to take, and I'm going to just move this. Move this over a little bit. Okay. All right. I like that. I'm just going to leave it at that. If it's a little bit off, no worries. Okay. So we're almost done. All right. So what I'm going to do is this is where the magic happens. I'm going to select everything. Okay. And I'm going to go right here into Pathfinders until this one hit divide. Bam. Now, actually, I'm going to undo that. And I want to save. Hold on, let me unlock everything. I want to save this just in case I have to come back. I'll have a copy. All right. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to press that divide again. And bam. As simple as that, y'all work is done. Now, that has broken this all up into little pieces. So if I want to enter, I could really simply just go right here, press that button, and boom. You see, it looks like it's, 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 it's done. Just that simple, all right? But we're going to have a little bit of, of fun with this, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make that. Actually, we're going to make all of this that uh, a tan color, okay? And we're going to go in and get rid of any of these little extras here that happens to you. And I mean, look at that. We're almost done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to begin to reconstruct this. So any parts that are, we want to all be one piece, we're going to select that, select that, and select that. And we're going to go right here to unite again. So make that one piece. We're going to take that. That's already one piece. That's already one piece. But we're going to take this one, two, three, and we're going to press unite. Okay. So now you have this, this, and you have all this one R. Okay, so now we're just going to add our outline. Oops. Like a brown or a tan outline. I'm going to bump that up a notch. And just like that, just like that, hold on, I'm going to bring this to the front. Just like that, we are intersected. Now, this right here is a little bit off. Hold on, let's go in. It's probably just too many anchor points down here, so we're just gonna go and get rid of one. Ah, and like that, it's fixed, okay? So, just like that, we're intersected, baby. I mean, it's just that simple. But what I want to do is I want to add that little shadow, okay? You see that little shadow right there? I'm going to add something like that. Now, the way that you do this is I'm just going to... Now, I could go in and just do a drop shadow, but I'm going to do it a, a little bit different because sometimes the drop shadows don't work on these intersecting things. So I'm just going to make a little square right there. And I'm going to make that square like a dark gray. And I'm going to go right here to uh, Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur, press Preview. All right. And we're just going to make that bigger. Actually, we could leave it just like that and hit OK. Now we're going to make it bigger just like that and just like that and a little bit wider. And then we take 
this R and we bring to the front. Okay. And we take this. We'll make sure that we're all un. Okay, that's great. We want to make sure that we're all not locked up together or grouped. And we're going to take that. We're going to bring that to the front. And then we're going to bring that R in front of that. And now, you see how we got this shadow right there? Look at how awesome that is. We're going to lock that down. And I'm going to add it right here, too. I'm going to add it right there. Now, is that going to work? Bam. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's not really going to work on on, on uh, both. See, that's that's what I'm saying. So, there we go. I'm just going to leave it like that. We're just going to have that little sh shadow right there. And we're going to put a navy background behind it. We're going to take our teardropper. Bam, and we have a type lockup. Just that simple. So it's really a question of getting your type together and hitting the divide and doing whatever you have to do with it, okay? And that could be, let's just say your, you know, your clothing line or whatever you're doing is called uh training room. That could be a type lockup. Or if your name is Tom Reynolds, you know, whatever you want to do. So I hope you learned something from this practice, um, changing your fonts uh, to outlines and practice with your Pathfinder tools over here. And that is the key to making an intersecting font or an intersecting type or intersecting letters all right this is uh t-shirt design school make sure that you like share and subscribe make sure that you hit that um bell and that subscribe button okay and i will see you all soon cheers to your t-shirts peace Okay, guys, make sure that you subscribe and make sure when you subscribe, you click that notification bell so you'll be notified of all the videos as soon as they are uploaded, okay? This channel is here to take your designs and your t-shirt business to a whole nother level. See you on the other side.